Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to balance three jobs in the summer for both DC and for anyone who's working this summer in general. I definitely didn't intend to have three jobs balancing at once, but here we are. And let's see how I'm able to manage that. And if you're out there managing multiple things as well, hopefully this can provide another perspective. Tip number one, find your most productive time of the day. So for me, that's really early in the morning, like 6, 30, 7, I try to get up because that's when I know that I can accomplish the most amount of tasks in a set period of time. And that also makes me okay as the day goes on, especially towards later afternoon and the evening, that if my productivity wanes off, I'm not expecting the same amount I had at the beginning. And it also just, at least for me, makes my load easier. Good morning, it's currently 6.30 a.m. and I normally wake up around this time because I know I'm most productive around this time. <laughs> Tip number two, prioritize health during this productive time slot. So for me, that includes making breakfast right away as well as working out if I can. And then that ensures that in the first amount of productive time I'm using, I'm looking after my health first and making sure that is all settled before going into any kind of work. So the first thing I do is make breakfast and let's see what we have. So I'm gonna use some turkey strips, some eggs, there's some rice in the rice cooker, and I'm going to make just a small plate for myself. Tip number three, put remote work to work during your productive slot. So out of my three jobs, one is completely remote and the second one is hybrid, and the third one is fully in person. But for the ones that have some sort of remote aspect, I will use the productive time slot to really hammer out tasks because I'm able to just work at my own pace, which in the morning is definitely higher, and then I can deal with the other tasks later in the day. Tip number four, make the most of your time in the office. So like I mentioned, while one job is fully virtual and one job is half remote, that means that for the three jobs in total, the other one and a half is all in person. And of course, take, uh, take advantage of maybe some food and drinks that the place might offer, but also try and talk to your supervisors as much as possible, develop a good relationship. And when there's inevitably a bit of downtime, depending on the job that you're in, you can use that to finish a miscellaneous task that you might have forgotten for another job, and that will knock down more pins and get you closer to finishing the day. Tip number five, develop a hobby. So the last thing you want to do after a long day of work is more work. And especially in the summer, it's different from school where you don't have as much homework or maybe not even any homework if you're just working jobs and you can kind of leave work at the office or on the computer. I would recommend as an option to develop a hobby. For me, that includes YouTube as of now. I also like to play tennis, go to places where there's matcha so I can put on my matcha TikTok and I'll include that in the video description but literally just find a hobby that you can build on and commit to. And I know commitment to a hobby might sound weird at first, but when you do have multiple jobs in the summer, having a hobby that you can reliably go back to becomes important, at least in my experience. So whether that's more working out or I don't know, skydiving, finding cool places to take pictures, Anything that you can do week in and week out, I think is a really important aspect of maintaining the work-life balance. And that's all for me. I hope you found some of these tips helpful. And let me know if you have any video ideas of how-tos that you might want to see in the future. As I have said in the past, this is part of a series on how to survive a summer in DC. I'll probably be releasing more work-related videos, including how I ended up with these three jobs in the future. So stay tuned. And until then, catch you next Sunday at 11 a.m. EST. Bye.